good morning my dear children i hope everybody are happy today okay now quickly re we recap the poem we learnt in the previous uh, class a thing of beauty uh, a thing of beauty so i think that you have understood from this poem that uh, whatever the sorrow you have when you see the beauty of this nature your sorrow will fade away you will be very happy right okay now let's learn uh, today's less uh, supplementary lesson crossing the river crossing the river is the uh, fourth supplementary lesson written by manoj das so this is an introduction introduction about the author uh, and he used to write in odia and english so odia is a language okay uh, he used to write his works in odia and english and uh, in 2000 he was awarded saraswati saman and in 2001 he awarded padmashri padmashri and he also received sahitya academy award so this is the introduction about the author manoj das now let's see the characters involved in the lesson um, crossing the river the landlord uh, the pandit have you seen pandit and then uh, moti uh, the milk maid a poor uh, woman okay so these are the three characters involved in the story crossing the river the landlord you know who is landlord is he is a uh, owner of the he he is a owner of the land and he is also a higher um, authority in that place so these are the three characters now what happens is uh, the story starts like this pandit had many disciples and admirers among them was the landlord this pandit he uh, he has so many followers among them there was a landlord i told you no the character landlord so what happened this landlord he commissioned a poor milkmaid to supply milk to the pandit actually this pandit was living uh, near the uh, river so every day the milkmaid she has to carry a tumbler of milk for the pandit so the landlord asked the milkmaid to supply milk to the pandit actually this milkmaid she has she wants to she has to cross the river with the help of a ferry boat there was a small boat a boatman was there she has to cross the river to uh, supply the milk to the pandit so what happened the pandit he was an eloquent speaker he is good in speaking Uh, is a speech so what happened hundreds of people gathered to listen to him so that time uh, this uh, the milk maid the woman she also uh, stand behind the audience and she was just uh, watching the she was just hearing the uh, speech of the pandit so the pandit was uh, speaking about the god and truth the tough and complex matter so whatever in the daily life the real life uh, things so all those things the pandit was just uh, talking in to the audience that time the milkmaid was hearing the same and uh, she was uh, very much attracted on the uh, pandit's uh, speech so that uh, after that what happened and uh, she uh, after that she was uh, she felt very happy uh, that she is supplying milk for the pandit and one day what happened the pandit asked moti the milkmaid to bring milk before the sunrise for only a month for one month the pandit asked this woman to bring milk before the sunrise uh, so what happened uh, this woman she was very happy and she is also faithful in her work she did not fail in her duty but what happened next day she was late because the previous day pandit told her to bring the milk before the sunrise next day what happened she was late she told that she was present before sunrise but the boatman did not turn up so she told this to the pandit and uh, this pandit uh, the he she also said that the boatman said the river is in spate what is mean by spate spate is something the river flows very fast 
so the boatman said the river uh, the river flows very fast in the early morning so he refused to take the boat and uh, what happened the pandit said so you cannot cross the river without the boatman and he also said i wonder how then the mystics say that one could cross even the ocean of life by uttering the name of vishnu so what happened uh, this was the secret uh, said by the pandit to the milkmaid so uh, after hearing this the milkmaid she was uh, just uh, um, she was very happy that uh, nobody told her about this uh, about when uh, so what happened the pandit again said that even a, a person can cross the ocean by uttering the name of vishnu so when we say the name of the lord vishnu we can cross the big ocean so this was told by the pandit to the milkmaid so this girl this woman was very happy hearing this and what happened uh, she also thanked the pandit for passing this secret to her and then uh, after uh, days passed may after one month over what happened the pandit he thanked moti the milkmaid for serving milk early in the morning so first day he asked the milkmaid uh, first day the milkmaid was uh, late from then from next day onwards she came early uh, to give milk to the pandit so after one month what happened pandit he uh, he thanked moti for serving milk early in the morning and then afterwards he also remembered the boatman he said please uh, tell the boatman uh, that i want to please the boatman he also thanked the boatman but that time uh, the moti moti the milkmaid she asked why are you thanking the boatman because he said he is the one who is carrying you to cross the river and uh, she said good god muttered moti so what happened after hearing that she said good god you who can remembered hundreds of pages of scriptures forgot the secret you passed on to me the other day so what happened she is uh, just uh, telling to the pandit that uh, he has totally forgot the secret he told her the secret is when we utter the name of the lord vishnu even we can cross even the big ocean so she told uh, the pandit that you have forgot the secret you passed on to me and the pandit was very uh, surprised and he said what do you mean he uh, what do you mean and she said i just utter the name of vishnu and walk across the river and what happened uh so the pand- pandit uh, uh, he was just surprised and he said really did you utter the name of vishnu she said yes this is how i came for one month uh, crossing the river to serve you the milk so and then uh, this uh, pandit he was just surprised he was uh, to he- heard the uh, mo- what uh, moti said and then what happened she said today is the last day so i am going to try try it for the last time i am going to cross the river without the help of the boatman and what happened she stepped out on the road in the foggy dawn foggy dawn means early morning where before the sunrise the entire place will be covered with uh, snow okay so she stepped out so she told in within herself that i am going to try for the last time so what happened this pandit he decided to follow uh, moti's tiptoe so she he, he was uh, started following uh, moti and what happened moti reached the river bank she put her empty pot down she folded her folded her hands together and paid obeisance to the river obeisance means giving respect to the river now what happened she started uttering the name lord vishnu and what what happened is the pandit saw her crossing the river the pandit saw this girl crossing the river and uh, she he struck dumb and almost fainted while demonstrating the miracle of faith the story also draws a contrast between scholarship and innocence 
between the knowledge which scholarship secures but which remains a mere theory and the knowledge that works through one's complete faith and surrender to the lord so through this story you have learnt that we should keep faith in god we have to surrender ourselves to the lord so when we keep faith in god when we surrender to the lord we can cross the big ocean i hope you have understood this lesson children now uh, let's see today's assignment today's assignment is refer page 117 from your english textbook question number c9 and c10 write these two answers in your english class work and also take kahoot and test kahoot please enter your admission number correctly to play kahoot and also take today's test thank you children have a nice day